Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And this is Bad Box Pulls, and today we have 2022 Don Russ uh, Baseball. And I know I previously opened up a couple of these blasters, fat packs, and hangers, but this time I actually have a hobby. Um, so we can go ahead and compare. I wasn't able to find a uh, hanger box, but um, you know, as far as this is what I can find. So I got one hobby, one blaster, and one fat pack. Uh, the reason why it resulted in, in doing the hobby is because I saw a couple of my fellow YouTubers, 23 Monch, uh, 101 Cards, uh, 101 Hunter, should I say. And um, last but not least, um, we had QC card breaks. They all opened a couple of these cards and I... I and so did I as well. And, you know, overall, it seems like these products have really nice hits, really nice cards. So I wanted to prove my point by opening up one of these hobbies and, and seeing what we can pull. Uh, so with that being said, let's go right on ahead. Uh, let me go ahead and start off with the fat pack. As always, I always start off with the uh, the cheapest set or the most affordable, should I say. And um, just to get a better look, uh, let me go ahead and open these up. As far as for the fat pack, you have 30 cards per pack, find three exclusive hollow red parallels, and find one exclusive vector parallel. Um, I think the fat packs have, have really, really nice value um, considering some of the cards that you, I've pulled so far. I actually liked a lot of them, um, but let's go ahead and see what you can technically get. There you go. You can go ahead and pause the video if you need to take a, take a look at this a little bit longer. All right, so let's get to it. Let's go ahead and put this up right there because it is already opened. And I have the fat pack here. Now, as always, you have a ton of the base cards in the beginning. Uh, and what we want to pay attention to is near the end of the pack. All right, this is just your base, base card. This is your 1988. And then this is another base. 1988 Stan Musel. Uh, look out for the Stan Demand uh, name change or the name variation. Lance Lynn 88. Mike Hans, our first rated rookie. And then our first Diamond Kings insert. Jose Siri. Pudge Rodriguez. This is another 88. Mike Bowman, Raider Rookie, Diamond Kings. Matt Brash, Shohei Otani, Base, Raider Rookie. Oh, so it looks like there is an image variation. Let's go ahead and check. Because we just pulled that Shohei. Let's see, number 147, 147. So this is an image variation right there. As you can see, 147, 147. So I'm assuming we should be also looking out for uh, image variation, which I didn't know this whole time, opening up a couple of our uh, base sets or some of our uh, Donruss packs. So just be on the lookout for, for that because I remember pulling um, one of these Shohei's and didn't know that there was an image variation there. So I'll be on the lookout for that. So if you're trying to make the uh, full set of these cards, I would say it's going to be a little bit tough because we don't know what's what's available, what's not. I'll go ahead and double check the checklist. Um, oh, and we have a numbered rated rookie. Oh, it's slightly dinged right there, which is sad. Riley Adams. So these fat packs have really, really nice nice cards so out of 248 or sorry out of 358 this is 282 but there you go Riley Adams all right time to sleeve it up so we did get one numbered hit from our fat pack which is awesome which I typically don't expect for fat packs to get any type of hits particularly and this is your red we have Rondon Musgrove Juan Soto and then the last one should be our vector 
Ooh, the hit list. Corey Seager. It's a nice one. So it's got a good weight to it, but there you go. Take a look at the back. Non-numbered, just a vector. Insert parallel. So I would say those two would be the top two cards from our fat pack there. Put that right there. Or yeah, let's put that right there. Cover. Cover cover that up right there. And then we'll move on to our blasters. One thing I, I wish the the Panini had would be the pack odds. I think that'll be very that'll be very interesting to see some of the pack odds. Um I mean I'm interested in it, but I guess in terms of sales, um or in terms of pricing of cards, it might help because nobody knows how many cards are made in for those uh, parallels or inserts or, or something like that. We can't guesstimate, or can we? I, unfortunately, I'm not too sure. But that it is what it is. Uh, Panini products overall, while I'm saving these up, sorry guys, um, they tend to have really nice designs. So, I mean, especially this year for Donruss and Diamond Kings, I was really impressed, except for <laughs> Prism. Um, Prisms are probably by far the worst that I've ever opened for baseball. Um, like, if I had to pick, I mean, they're still better than, like, the draft class cards. Or not, like, draft class, uh, should I say... Uh, draft picks better than that I think or I mean I guess it depends on what you what your preference is but let's go over what how many cards 90 cards per pack you can find the uh, 12 per hollow purples six rapture parallels I, I really like the blasters I think they're really worth it um, let's see there you guys go you guys can pause the video if you guys need to take a look at that all right, but let's get into it. Let's see what we pull here today. That's probably the security tag in there. All right, so six packs. Let's see what we can find. So nice fat packs. They're really fat in terms of like the cards. Card packs, they're really fat. Diamond Kings, Marsh, Cunha, Luis, 88, Keeper and Hayes. Ichiro, look out for his image, uh, his name. It, uh, it says Ichi, and then this one has Ichiro. So, two different. Ooh, we have a, oh, don't tell me we got an auto. Auto already? Shmer. Oh, no, it's not. It is a relic of Sean Murphy. But it's just a napkin. Probably not worth anything, as always, like all the other napkins. This is a non-numbered napkin, too. So which makes it even more of a napkin. All right, this should slip into a hundred point uh, sleeve. I don't think you guys need more than a hundred. Uh, it might be better to put it into a hundred thirty, hundred twenty, but I think hundred should be just fine, nice and snug. Not a little too tight though, but who cares? This is just a. <laughs> it's just Donruss, and it's just uh, crappy. Relic. There's Bo. Okay. So this is also a name. Bo flows. This is Bo Bichette. So there's a name. Jared Walsh. These are the purple hollows. Then you have Carlos Correa. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Just bear with me here. I'll sleep them up real quick. But definitely the bow flows like this one. 
Uh, wish it was numbered, but still nice. I got a name variation, uh, purple. All right, we move on to our next pack. So first pack was, I got a relic, got a, got a name variation purple. So, like it, like it so far. All right, Diamond Kings, Ashby. So this is what I'm talking about. This is Ichi, Ichiro. So as I showed you guys, this is Ichiro. And then you have your Ichi card. So, yeah. And let's see. Let's keep going. Ramirez, Reese Hoskins. Jake McCarthy, rated rookie, purple. Babe Ruth, purple. Nice. There's a little bit of a scratch there, which sucks. And then we have the hit list, Tim Anderson. All right, so this is the Rapture. Did I get a Rapture earlier? Yes, I did get a Elite Series Rapture of Carlos Correa. But this, uh, the hit list one looks pretty dang nice. I really like the Rapture parallels. Um, but the thing is, it's I guess there's benefits to it because you can't tell if it's um, if it's messed up in terms of like the cards. Like for instance, like if it's scratched in the front, it's hard to tell. But nice cards overall. So I, I, in terms of like uh, completing this whole set, I think it's pretty interesting because there's like some name variations that, that you guys can also pull. So might not be too bad, right? I think comparatively to like Diamond Kings and Don Russ, those are two really fantastic packs. And for the price these days, um, I think it's pretty good. This... Uh, image looks a little different, but can't tell off the top of my head, and I don't think you guys want to wait for me to uh, figure that out. Logan Webb, Frank, Josh Donald, Diamond Kings, Purple, Pete Alonzo, Hernandez, and our trending Luis Roberts. All right, um, I think the best card here so far has been the, the, none of them. <laughs> I don't think one beats the other. Um, I don't know, I think the numbered card probably has one of the more values, unless maybe the Luis Robert, I'm not too sure, Waltham. All right, this is probably a name. Put that off to the side, I'll, I'll do it. I don't know why I can't. Let's see. Yeah, this is a name. Can't. Rated uh, Rookie, Max Fried, Tim Anderson, Crawford. Seeger, Mike Trout, look for a uh, meteor. So there's a name variation for this too. Name low. Seth Beer, rated rookie, purple. Okay. Jesse Winker, purple. And a dominance, uh, Brandon Crawford. I think this Seth Beer one. It's pretty pretty nice. All 
All right, I guess I'll leave them up at the end because it, it is taking a bit longer. So let, I'll try to hurry this up because it is going to take a while. If I keep trying to sleeve everything up. All right, Diamond Kings. Rumuto, Will, Seaver, Midge, Luis, Mookie, Madison, Abreu, this is the stars, Diamond Kings, Votto, and Jacob deGrom. And the last one looks crazy, Nicholas Castellanos. This one I have to sleeve, sorry. These Bomb Squad cards are way too damn nice for me to not sleeve up. But I would say this Bomb Squad right here. All right, so like I mentioned, this is the name variation Melville Meteor. Uh, O'Neal Cruz rated rookie. That's a nice cruise. Juan Soto rated rookie. Uh, Datis, Alvarez, McCoy, Whit Merrifield, Abreu. Okay, numbered Max Scherzer. There we go. Out of 2022. Gomez, Nolan Oreno. Or Renato, sorry, 88. And then this is a Frank Thomas. I really like these Unleashed and the Bomb Squad cards. cards so I'm gonna go ahead and sleeve those two up. And we'll move on to our hobby, hobby box. All right, so moving on to our hobby box. Let me go ahead and move everything around. I'm going to pause the video really quick and get things turned. Alrighty guys, now that I've cleaned everything up, now we're going to get into the big boy right here. The hobby box. Find three autographs or memorabilia cards per box on average. There's eight cards per pack, 24 packs per box. So a lot of cards in this package here. And let me go ahead and take off the wrapper so we can go ahead and take a look at the odd. All right. All right, let's open this bad boy up. Well, these two over there and let's get to it oh pop up the, the big boy wander put them off to the back and let's get started start off with the bottom right corner here these are a lot of cards Let's get started. First part, pack of the box. Oh, I forgot to show you guys the what you guys can pull right there. Take a quick look. Pause it if you guys need to, but let's get into it. All right. Now I have seen pretty, pretty nice cards come out of Donruss hobby. So hopefully I get some good cards too. All right. O'Neill, Singer, I think I gotta switch these around. All right, let's see. Rated rookie, Kevin Smith, Diamond Kings, Base, Joey Votto, and we have a blue Mike. Bowman, rated rookie. All 
All right, we have a Trevor. We'll go ahead and quick, go quick as possible until we find another hit. Oh, we have our number card of rated rookie Riley Adams and then a Mark Stroman. Now, I believe these are the blue hollows. So, and if I run into any numbered cards, I am going to sleeve them up immediately. Okay, Riley Adams. We're going to go ahead and park them right here. All right, let's get to it. Hopefully I pull something insane. No. Mike Piazza. Rated rookie. Diamond Kings Mike Trout, but just the base. Ooh. Boz Auto. Yes. Look at that signature series, Shane Boz. Ooh, and then a Brandon Belt, <laughs> 88. But that is our first hit. And the Donruss hobby. Boom, place them right there. Hopefully we can find our uh, two other autos or mems. Maybe there's four, who knows? Who knows if I'll get lucky. Um, this is also a name. I had a couple of those already and he's somewhere in here. Uh, I can't remember the name though. We have another numbered card, so a lot of numbered. We have Nathan Evol Evaldi, I don't know, who, who, Pudge Rogers, but it is a numbered card, so I will sleeve you up. But it is out of 2022, not that important. We see probably a lot of those 2022. I'm surprised like how many 2022 numbered cards there are. I just feel like maybe there's more than that, you know? Because it seems like everybody is getting those cards. Diamond Kings. Now this is the Liberty. So these are a little bit. Some of these cards are rare. Ooh, look at this. A rated prospect. I have no clue what, what they call this little, little bunch of sh uh, shining waves kind of look like. Or this X kind of looks like. I have no clue what that is. But this is numbered numbered out of uh, 249 yeah 246 out of 249 so that i know i really like jj because you are numbered and you look kind of crazy you get a top loader boom top loaded Sit right next to Vlad, uh, Shane Bozzi for a minute. But I'm telling you, as far as like these um, slightly like the parallels with those liberties, some of them I noticed. I was looking at 130 point. Um, I think some of them, not all, have like a pretty decent value. I think like $5 or something. I mean, $5 may be nothing to you guys, but I mean, I'll take everything I can get from this, from this box. Machado. Low. Vlad. Another numbered card. Man. So many numbered. And Lindor. Yeah, so if you guys find these numbered cards, um, just leave them up. Just in case, even though they're not, not that popular. But this is Aaron Nola. 
So definitely sleeve them up. And it has that, you know, I don't know what that is. A face? Let's see what else we can find. We still got to get two more autos or mems. So Wheeler, Dylan, O'Neill Cruz, Diamond Kings, Morgan, and another, another numbered card. By the way, this was a numbered card. I think I, I shouldn't stand up the numbered cards because we have so many. Another numbered card, and then a blue. But numbered card, it's, it's the cards that we want. All of the numbered ones. More than merrier. This one's 2022. This one's out of 377. Or 377 out of 2022. Let's see what we got here. One Soto. Retro 88, another, uh, a napkin. Who wants a napkin? I have a bunch of napkins. But, non-numbered napkin. I always prefer the autos over the napkins. Uh, I'll just toss in a top loader for you. I top load all of my napkins, or all of my cards even though they don't deserve it man this 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 one's thick okay so some of the top loaders you may need to bump it up to uh 130 top loader let me see where my other top loader is i have a hundred put in a 130 yeah so these are the 130s it should slide in uh, fairly easily for the 130. Yep, so probably these relics fit better in a one Yeah, so these relics fit better in a 130. I'll just place that right there. He's not that important. You guys don't care about that Put those to the side. I'll show you guys at the end. There's way too many cards on this table All right, let's see Nolan Freddy McCormick, rookie, Aaron Judge, and another numbered card. And we have a Blue Diamond Kings of John Carlos Stanton. But this one is Ty France. So I'll gladly take numbered cards all the time. All the time. I feel like that's the future where all the value of cards are going towards numbered so but that's just my thought so we still need to get one more auto or mem so we will be looking out for that Brandon Marsh rated rookie unleashed Ken Griffey jr. nice got to sleeve that one up for sure uh, Charlie Morton. I think these are like the diamond parallels. I think. No, these aren't the diamonds. Diamonds are more crisscrossed, I think. That's a nice card, though. Put that off to the side really quick. I'll show you guys all at the end. I don't want you guys to be sitting here for like an hour. Just listen to me talk. Random. And half the things I say probably don't, doesn't, you know, make any sense. Aaron Ashby. Ichi, Ichiro. Di okay, we got a number of Diamond Kings. And a Babe Ruth, blue again. Or, the other one was purple, right, I believe. But Diamond Kings numbered. Or John. But I feel like... The parallels look so much better. Like, I don't know why they number the base cards. Like, what's so special about these numbered base cards? I guess it's pretty cool to have. But at the same time, it's like, why? But I'll take it. I mean, 
I mean, I ain't complaining, I guess. Or am I complaining? Well, I'm sorry. I shouldn't be. Let's see here. Babe Ruth. Wisdom. Raider Rookie. Diamond Kings. Alright, this is a... Uh, right there. 88. Diamond Kings. Brandon Crawford. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take this down. So this one has the hollow blue parallels. Now looking at the box. Yeah, Crosstown Rivals, that's what, it, that's what I wanna find, Crosstown Rivals. Hopefully I can pull one of those Crosstown Rivals. Luis Gill, Diamond Kings, Colton Wong, Zach Wheeler, and a Matt Brash. So no numbered cards there. Hopefully I can pull another auto. I love autos over the relics. I think a lot of people do, right? Don't you guys all agree? And then watch, I get like one top notch auto or relic with an auto, like an RPA. I'd be like, damn, maybe I should have just kept my mouth shut and, oh, there's Ian Happ. And then we have another number of Christian So I get, I'm getting a lot of numbered cards out of 2022, but they don't look anything special. They're just numbered, um, which I'm assuming barely has any value or maybe like probably a, a dollar or two more than the, than the normal cards or maybe a little bit more than that. Who, who knows? But, you know, I'm not. I think it should have been something special when it's numbered but doesn't look anything special. Let me know in the comments if I'm, if I'm missing anything. And this is an auto of Josiah Gray. Um, and a Patrick Wisdom. I don't know why the cards are slightly stuck together. What? Top load this one on. Right there we go. That was our third. So I, I probably won't won't expect any other autos. I mean, RPAs. I know you can pull them. It looks like I won't be pulling an RPA today. Um, but sometimes there is an extra auto in these packs. So can't can't just assume there's nothing left in the pack just because you pulled your three because there have been times when people pull more than what is expected um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you guys haven't already um, it really supports the channel and we have a Mike Trout Diamond Kings numbered out of 310 look at that 256 out of 310 Now that one deserves a top loader for sure. It's a Mike Trout and numbered. Mikey. Hey Mikey. Came out to play. All right. All right, all right. I feel like there's a there's a lot more cards that are better in here. It's just hiding in between these cards. I just feel it in my bones. Ooh, number dominators and Clayton Kershaw. 
but look at that number dominators Bogarts it's a nice one it is out of 9.99 a lot of numbered cards man look at all that I don't know how many times I said numbered this time, but this is probably the most numbered cards I've ever opened. So I'm, I mean, it just makes it a little bit crazy to me that if there's that many numbered cards in a box, how many other people are getting these numbered cards, you know? So does that make my numbered cards less valuable? Like I'm getting numbered cards in each each pack almost or every other pack but this one's out of 2022 again bogarts okay i'm i'm gonna say something i guess and it may be true maybe not but i think the number cards in here aren't worth anything <laughs> unless it's like a wander numbered because then or like a famous player numbered but that's the case where a lot of wonder cards anyway uh, numbered cards not wondered cards numbered cards but i'm assuming that the ones from here are even more so that's what i'm talking about stand the man that that name acuna and jose siri i think i have like 10 of these already but just not in blue because this is this is my first hobby hobby box and i'm opening oh no like messing up these cards already, huh? Before I even get to see them. And if I can just open up that pack. So we have around four packs left. We'll see if we can pull anything nice here. Lars Nupar, rated rookie. Diamond Kings of Mookie Bets. Another numbered card. Jared Walsh and a Jared Walsh behind that of blue. But this one's out of 2022 again. So bunch and bunch of numbered cards. I don't know, guys. I was excited at first, but if they're out of 2022, I don't know if they're any special. I think they're just. It's just like, hey, look, you got a numbered one and you don't have a numbered one, but they look exactly the same. It's just red bordered, I guess. Okay, the last. We're down to our last couple packs here. Seth Beer, Bato, Adolis, another numbered out of 2022, Ronald Acuna Jr., and a Tyler O'Neill Blue. I don't know. I mean, put your thoughts down in the comments. I mean, it really, I really, um, I really want to see what you guys have to say in regards to like Donruss 2022. And how much numbered cards they have. I mean, I was excited at first when I was opening up like the blasters. I was like, dang man, pull the pull the number, pull the number. But now I'm I'm opening up this hobby and I'm like, pull the number again? So many numbered cards. Like a lot. Bow flows, that's another name. Oh, oh, guys, no way, no way. Sorry, I got a little excited there and hit the camera. No way, you guys don't believe what card this is. This is a bomb squad, this is out of 99. I, I really wanted a numbered um, bomb squad card. This is not a 99, Bryce Harper, but look at that. I love these Bomb Squad cards. I don't know how popular they are, 
or how how good these cards are but i really like the design and they they're very uncommon or they're not as common i guess they're still common but especially to get them numbered on top of that that's like really nice hopefully i can get one more bomb squad auto anything i mean auto is out of the question pretty much like I, I doubt i'm gonna pull any auto for sure bomb squad wise still got a chance maybe the rival crosstown rivals hopefully crossing my fingers but it doesn't look like it i mean yeah i think that's it that's it guys no another numbered card and then a crone's worth um but that's that's it i mean that's the last card we got a numbered brady senior so let's take a look i'm gonna go ahead and organize all this so we can go ahead and take a look at what we pulled and i'll put them in order and categorize them okay be right back all right guys so after i've organized everything let me show you guys all of the numbered cards and mind you most of them came out just from the hobby hobby box so you can kind of kind of guesstimate like how much numbered and I'm, I'm considering the numbered cards a hit more than the the parallel cards or the insert card some of the insert cards um but this is the relic from the hobby relic from the hobby garbage numbered 46 numbered 2022 2022 2022 all of these are 2022 so you have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve numbered and that's not all there's there's a couple more twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen this one's a numbered sixteen 17 18 so 18 numbered cards or uh, i don't know if i counted this all right i probably did 18 cards that were numbered um i think one or two were from the other packs but there was 24 packs in this hobby and i found eight or sorry i found quite a lot it's so like 15 numbered so i don't know if that's common but pretty nice pretty nice pull um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, I think the main cards that I really liked were essentially the Bomb Squad cards. Especially, you know, like this gold one. It's really nice. I mean, maybe Mike Trout. Let's, let's Photoshop his face on there. So maybe like this. But it got to say Bomb Squad, so. Or like this. Bomb Squad. Yeah. Got a Mike Trout Bomb Squad. <laughs> if there is one. Um, other than that, thanks for watching and hope you guys uh, be looking out for my next videos. And if you put your thoughts down in the comments and I read through all of them and I look forward to creating more interactions with you guys. Thanks.